Hello and welcome students. In this video, we are going to talk about the topic of energy and metabolism. So we'll begin with the basic two metabolic pathways and uh, the basic definition of metabolism. Hence, the basic meta uh, definition of metabolism is, uh, it is actually the sum total of all of the chemical reactions carried out in an organism. Now we are going to take a look at um, what are the two main types of metabolism and it is actually going to be the sum of these two types. So metabolism comprises of two types of reactions, which are anabolism and catabolism. Now, anabolism basically means building up. building up of molecules, also known as synthesis. And then catabolism is basically breakdown of molecules or decomposition reaction. All right, on the next page, we are going to take a deeper look and more understanding it more. Now, whenever in, an, in anabolic reactions, basically what happens is continued from the last page, basically what happens is you have smaller molecules and after the process is completed, we end up with a large molecule. And then on the other hand, in, in a catabolic reaction, what happens is we have a larger molecule. And we end up with smaller molecules. All right, we are going to now take a deeper look at the first one, which is the anabolic reactions with more examples and a deeper understanding. All right, let us first start with an example. And let us say I have monomer of glucose. Now I'll have little monomers of glucose which are going to combine together. And I'm putting three dots here because we'll have more. They are going to use energy in order to complete the process. And after the process is completed, our end product is going to be a polymer of glucose, which is also called a polysaccharide. So if you remember from, you know, the chapter four biological macromolecules, a polymer of glucose will be called a polysaccharide. Now these are what monomers, smaller molecules. So smaller molecules are giving uh, end result is larger molecules. So hence it is an anabolic reaction. All right, next up point number two about anabolic reactions is 
that most of anabolic reactions require energy. And because of this reason, because they uh, require energy, they are also called anergonic reactions. All right, for biological processes like this, ATP is required in the form of energy to complete the reaction. Now, in the above example, I forgot something. I forgot to add the water molecule. And at the, as a part of this reaction, water is an end product. So water is released as a part of this molecule, as a part of this reaction, sorry. Hence, it is a dehydration synthesis. So basically dehydration comes from water, water is released. Synthesis means smaller molecules are coming together to form larger molecules. All right, next up, we are going to take a look at catabolic reactions. Into detail. And we'll start with the same thing, an example. And for example, let us say we have sucrose, a larger mo molecule this time. Sucrose is actually going to be decomposed to give us glucose and fructose or fructose. All right, so chemical composition glucose with fructose. This time they're using water to actually decompose into glucose and fructose molecules. And then energy is released. So you can see that it's a different, totally different from anabolic reactions. We had a large molecule and we ended up with smaller molecules, decomposition. Now the second point is that catabolic reactions are mostly hydrolysis using water. They are hydrolysis reactions. Next, they release energy. Remember, last one was require energy. Energonic, it was. Let's see what is the name when they release energy. There's a special scientific name, exergonic. Again, meaning of exergonic, they are releasing energy as a part of the reaction completion process. All right, so these were the details about them. Now on the next sheet, we are going to take a look at an exercise that we are going to do together where we'll have some processes and they're gonna ask us whether they are um, catabolic or anabolic. So the very first one is going to be a cellular respiration. And these notes and questions are based from your OpenStax 2E biology book. Photosynthesis.
glycolysis amino acids to proteins something familiar from biological macromolecules and easier to identify and a nucleic acid to nucleotides all right so on the next page we'll take a deeper look at um, and in actually identifying and our first one was cellular respiration so for that we'll first actually take a look at the reaction for cellular respiration basically what happens is glucose and oxygen are reacting to give us carbon dioxide and water so our chemical reaction will be C6H12O6 for glucose combining with oxygen to give us carbon dioxide and water so here basically this is a large molecule glucose is which is now giving us smaller molecules of carbon dioxide and water and you know i um figured the there is some imbalance going on in the equation so let us first balance it here have six six here and then six here all right so a lot of energy is also released which helps us accomplish day-to-day functions so now here looking at this reaction think about the definition of catabolic and anabolic so hence it is an exergonic reaction energy is released so hence we can now agree that it is a catabolic reaction all right next page we are going to take a look at the second number on our list which is photosynthesis metabolic process happening in plants now for photosynthesis what basically happens is we'll have carbon dioxide and water so they will combine to give us C6 glucose, C6H12O6 plus oxygen. And then here they are going to use the sunlight, light energy is used. So energy is being used here in order to accomplish the reaction. Let's go ahead and balance the equation. All right. So just by looking at the reaction we can figure that we have smaller molecules are combining to give us a large molecule hence it is going to be an anabolic reaction All right, let's move on to the next one, which is going to be number three, and it is glycolysis. Now there's a little hint here that we can always use. Any reaction that's ending with lysis, L-Y-S-I-S, you can just name it that it's going to be catabolic in nature. So that's going to be a handy tool for you to remember this suffix here. So we'll actually in glycolysis, we have a large glucose molecule, which is going to give us smaller ions. So 
to be a larger glucose molecule decomposing into hence it is a catabolic reaction all right next up we'll have number 4 which is easy amino acids two proteins now basically amino acids is a monomer for proteins or polypeptides so just showing you molecules for amino acids smaller molecules coming together to give us a larger molecule which is a polypeptide or protein amino acids so hence we can see that these are smaller molecules which are coming together and they are resulting in a large molecule hence this type of reaction all right let's move on to the next one number 5 nucleic acid basically nucleic acid is a polymer of nucleotides so the nucleic acid is going to be a bigger molecule like dna or rna which is going to break up to give us nucleotide so dna or rna this is a large molecule which is giving us smaller molecules and hence hence this pro process name is catabolism so in this video students we we took a look at um, metabolism and two different types and ex uh, an exercise also where they gave you the names of reactions and asked us as to what type of reaction it is so i hope i made some sense in this video thank you so much for uh, watching and i'll see you in my next video have a good one bye